Hey guys, and thanks for joining us on My Market Kitchen. I'm just tending to the little coal pit we've got set up here on the balcony of the iconic Noosa Surf Club. What I'm gonna be putting up for you guys next is a uh, straight out of the Sam Young Guys handbook. We've got the charcoal chicken, one of those dishes that it's been on there for a couple of years now, but I'm still not sick of it. And I, I really get excited to share this with you guys because there's no secrets. Um, these are all ingredients that you could get from the market that you would have in the pantry at home. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the marinade and I'm gonna show you how to make the, the all important ginger and sesame cream. So four cloves of garlic, so we'd be pretty generous with those. You look at the garlic to chili ratio. We're on point here. So we've got a couple of long green chilies. We picked them up from uh, Georgia at Grub Farm. She, she supplies the market, she supplies the restaurants. Um, she's got a five acre plot out of Verydale and it's all organic. How she does things out there, it's like this organized chaos of just the most incredible produce you've ever seen. So we've got a, a big chunk of coriander root in there, brown sugar, oyster sauce. That's the, that's the umami, that's what's gonna give us that beautiful gloss and that glaze over the chicken once you throw it on that charcoal. And of course, where would we be in this world without fish sauce? That's just this insane uh, seasoning of th this saltiness, this funk um, that you, you can't replicate, you can't. Our beautiful Moya Valley chook that we picked up from uh, Dino out at the farmer's market. Look at that. Oh. So we're just gonna make sure that's got contact with every part of that chook and let it sit there. Quick wash up, I'll come back, we'll make the ginger and sesame cream that you cannot do without when it comes to this chook. As the energy's building at the surf club here in Noosa, we're gonna keep moving forward with this SYG charcoal chicken recipe. Okay, so this is the all important accompaniment, the, the ginger and sesame cream. First things first, we've got soy, rice wine vinegar. So we've got salty, acidity, ginger. There's a serious, serious whack of ginger there. There's about 70 or 80 grams of ginger. Some peanuts. So what the peanuts do, yes, they give us that little bit of flavor, but there's also a high fat content in the peanut. So it actually assists in emulsifying the cream. A Little bit of sugar for the sweetness. Of course, the sesame seeds and a splash of water. So that just gives us that little bit more liquid but still maintains the right amount of seasoning. Trust me, this is something that we've played with for a very, very long time, and I hope that it works today. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop that in the fridge for about half an hour. Because you've blitzed up the, the peanuts and the sesame and the fats and the oils, just cooling it down a touch is gonna thicken it, okay? So bang that in the fridge for about a half an hour, it's time to start grilling. All right, so that chook had a good 30 to 40 minutes on the grill, and judging by it, I reckon she is absolutely spot on. We've given it about 15, 20 minutes just to rest. So sesame cream, cooled down a touch, thickened up ever so slightly on the base of the plate, right? A good generous amount of that. We've got a big chook here. Just give that a shake. Now, take off the legs. Start with them, and then I'll chop up the, uh, the breast into a few pieces and put them over the top. Oh, 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 oh. Face it out, so you see the contrast there. You've got the just perfectly cooked, the wing behind it that's been charcoaled and charred up and barbecued properly. Still, to this day, not sick of cooking this at all. Never have been, never will be. Straight out of the SYG handbook, the charcoal chicken. It's got that umami loaded marinade with the fish sauce, the oyster sauce, that good kick of green chili, and then that soothing sesame and ginger cream. Nice little refreshing salad on the side. You're welcome.